If you're an Arkansas sports fan and haven't heard of J.J. Andrews, get ready to hear that name a lot over the coming years. One of the top rated prospects nationwide in the class of 2026, the fast rising Little Rock Christian guard already holds offers from five schools, including his home state Hogs. He's been showing college coaches and pro scouts why on the road this summer, most recently at the Nike Peach Jam in South Carolina. After helping lead the Warriors to their first ever basketball state title as a freshman, his future has never looked brighter. And at just 15 years old, Andrews has only scratched the surface of his potential. Peace Jam, it was great getting to um, spend time with my teammates, spend time with my coaches, getting to know them better. Since they live in St. Louis, I'm in Arkansas. Um, but it was a great experience. We made it to the Elite Eight. I'm just a natural born leader. I, I lead by example to just lead your team to victory. Definitely my intensity on both ends of the court, whether it's defensively or offensively. I, I block shots. I just play the game with passion um, that I've always had since I was young. Saying that JJ has good genes is an understatement. Athleticism runs in the family. His dad, Sean Andrews, once being a two-time All-American Razorbacks offensive lineman and first-round NFL draft pick. His uncle, Stacy, also played O-line in the pros, and his mom played college basketball at Western Carolina. Standing at six foot six as a rising sophomore, JJ may still have some room to grow. <laughs> I definitely look around at my uncles, they're all over six foot five and over, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, it's, it's crazy. And I, I wear a size 16 shoe, my, my family, they all have big feet. So, um, I mean, my mom, she's 5'10", and she used to play basketball, and everybody in my family was athletes. And I'm definitely seeing that in my family tree. It inspires me to uh, just keep going. At a young age, I always had the mindset that um, once I put my mind to anything, I can accomplish pretty much anything I work hard for. Born in North Carolina, Andrews was raised in Arkansas, spending most of his life in Little Rock, moving schools between the likes of Robinson and CAC, playing for LRCA since the eighth grade. Despite his dad's former occupation on the gridiron, JJ gravitated towards the hardwood, knowing early on that he had a knack for his mom's sport and looking up to NBA stars to emulate their game. My love for basketball has always been there. Um, growing up, I grew up in North Carolina, so I've been watching Michael Jordan and LeBron. Uh, they've definitely been an inspiration for me. A few years ago, I, I watched uh, the Last Dance documentary with Michael Jordan. I saw how hard he worked and how hard he pushed his teammates. He was different, and I realized that if I put that work in, um, follow the same steps, just create my own story, um, I, can, I can accomplish the same things that he's done. It was the summer as a rising freshman when he joined the same AAU team that Nick Smith Jr. once soared up national rankings on. That's when things got serious and offers began rolling in, starting with Ole Miss last June before JJ played any high school hoops. It was that eighth grade summer with Brad Bill, Elite, and then I realized that I, if I take this really, really seriously, I can, I can go somewhere. That's when it started to go uphill seeing the interest from college coaches and um, having that Ole Miss offer in Missouri. That definitely pushed me to be a hard worker on and off the court, whether it's school or basketball, whatever the case may be. It um, definitely influenced my decision on going harder in basketball. Andrews won't need to look far to see that a kid from Little Rock, Arkansas can make it to the NBA. Before Nick Smith Jr. was drafted this summer, Moses Moody did it two years prior. Bobby Portis before him, and Joe Johnson before him. JJ doesn't lack the talent to walk in those footsteps. Those examples laying a foundation for the path he hopes to follow. Seeing people make it out of the area that I'm, I'm in right now definitely, uh, definitely is an inspiration. Because seeing those guys, seeing the work that they put in, seeing the things that they're doing on the court, seeing the money that they're making, seeing everything that they're doing, it just inspires me to go harder and, and follow in those footsteps as well. What those four names have in common is staying home and playing for the Razorbacks. Andrews is nowhere close to deciding his collegiate future, but given his dad's time as a hog, just being offered is pretty special. Knowing that my dad played there, um, it's, it's definitely cool to see that because I've always looked up to him 
just as a person, because he's an amazing person. My mom, she's an amazing person. And just being able to have that, maintain that offer, it's, it's a big deal for me and my family. The Razorbacks program has definitely um, improved with muscle men in that head position in every aspect. You know, they play harder, they play with more passion. Um, it's definitely noticeable. And seeing the practices, being able to watch some of the, the film on uh, Instagram and everything, um, I definitely see the, the hard work being put out on the court. JJ's offer list is sure to grow and fast, but time is on his side. With three years left in high school, he won't have to be in a hurry for a commitment. Instead, Andrews is staying focused on doing everything he can, going everywhere he can, facing everyone he can to grow his game. I still want to grow in shooting defense, finishing at the rim defensively, um, all around game, I just want to improve on. I'm around my, my parents a lot. They help influence my decisions with uh, colleges and decision making. They make sure to keep my head level. I make sure to keep my head level and um, whatever is the best option for me um, in life, that's what I will take. Until the time comes for any decision, priority number one is getting another state championship ring on his finger and continuing to leave his mark in Little Rock and in Arkansas basketball. The mentality for us as a, as a whole is that using that championship as a standard for us. That's We're not looking to lower the bar, we're not looking to, uh, for satisfaction. We're just hungrier, working hard every single day, working on everything that we can. I want to be, be able to inspire the younger kids, inspire whoever it may be to um, put work into whatever it is that you do in life. Hard work and confidence, believing in yourself, anything can be accomplished.